place at FIU Stadium, home to the Golden Panthers. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 22-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run, and they got the better of them that time. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 26-yard line. Just throws this one away. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Sims, the return man. Balls for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 39 yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down at the 46. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 46-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gets rid of it. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He sails it long. Intercepted. I'm really impressed with this guy's closing speed on the ball. He's got the kind of jets you need to be a standout corner. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 26. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 30-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big Thank game. Check three, check three, check three. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number 82 
is the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 41. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He airs it out. Caught by the sophomore. He's all the way home. Touchdown. designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six. You said it Brad in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. Brad the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he tacks on the extra point. A five play 75 yard drive and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. The score now, 7-0. He'll return it from the six. Tackle at the 31-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. Grabs it and hammered right there. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Perfect timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. That's a big gain and more than enough for the first down. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 42. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. First down. By 22, by 22. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. There's a strike complete. Knocked out of bounds, right around the 26-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 26-yard line, it's first down. And that's a first down. First down. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Oh my gosh, how did he drop that? The offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 15. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Throws and it's incomplete. Tenth play of the drive. And he is drilled at the 23. Fourth and long here after the sack. The 
kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-3, FIU. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Florida International is up by four. With the pass incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 26. Throws out to the running back, no good. up the loose ball. Boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled at the 11. out of bounds at the 10 yard line throws for the touchdown and it's going to be an interception and the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Florida International holds a four-point lead. Makes it to the 22-yard line. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Golden Panthers lead 7-3. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Tackle around the 31-yard line. two-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. And down he goes at the 13. 
Florida International is up four. yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings him second and goal. Hey, kill, kill, kill. And they make the stop right around the two yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it third and goal. He's going to run for the end zone and he doesn't get in. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gathered in at the six. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. That makes it second and two. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it. Man, that's hard to stop. Taken down at the 48. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Gets to around the 42. That makes it first and 10. Out of bounds, around the 40-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. They get three yards on the play. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play the 37 yard line it's third down they'll bring him down at about the 29 yard line number 32 southern miss will take a timeout that's their first of the half this is the ninth play of this drive. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Richard gets the ball, and they'll bring him down behind the line. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. It's second and 11. Ball on the 14. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's the 11th play of the drive. Short over the middle. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Now he's scrambling. 
Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. It was a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. This looks like they're ready for the kick. From the five-yard line. Across the 30. Whoa, he just took a lick. It. Both defenses really played well so far. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. There's a strike complete. He's down. About six yards on the play. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Strike to his receiver, no good. He's taken down right around the 40. Why in the world would the offense run a route? short of the first down. That just baffles me every time I see that. There is the putter. <laughs> They'll bring him down to the 36-yard line. <laughs> this is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Once it all, going deep. He caught it to the 10. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. Well, that'll go down as a pretty long pass play, but he's got his playmaker to thank for doing most of the work. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 25. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. From their own 40-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. receivers number five was the intended receiver third down now and they need to get it out to the 50. Brad I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions and especially when the defense starts to get pressure you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it He's tackled to the 38-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Southern Miss is up a score. He's 
out of bounds at the 39. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 39. Quick toss. And he's got it. Brought down at the 12-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Still first down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. Kicks away, and he's got it. So at the end of the half, Southern Miss leads 20 to 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. All week long when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you've got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and Mountain David, time. welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. And a quick throw. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Backfield. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Quick strike, and he drops it. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to put this one away. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Mosley awaits the snap. Tackle made at the 49. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he tackles him hard at the 50. Going right, intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Call it a gain of 14 yards. First down. Two by 22. Yeah. <laughs> 
Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. That makes it second and ten. He throws. Pulls it in. First down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at the 32. Watch 14. Watch 14. That makes it second and eight. Up the middle for a nice game. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number six. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's tackled at the 16 yard line. Quickly, he's got the tailback on another catch. Rifles this one out to the left. They can't connect. Incomplete. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle at about the 11. Bracken gets him about three yards with a completion. This should be an easy field goal. That'll bring up fourth and five. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Southern Miss is ready to kick it away. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. Golden Eagles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Quick throw. He's to the 40. And they finally push him out at the 35-yard line. It's great to put the ball in his hands and let him go to work. Big, big gain right there. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes, right around the 30. That brings him second and five. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From the 24 yard line, first down. Throws it. This is a very well coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. The Golden Eagles had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Red two, green 15. And they'll get him in the backfield. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From the 25-yard line, third down. Two. 
Doyle takes it up the middle, and he's taken down around the 24-yard line. That'll make it fourth and ten. And they get the sack. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. That's a that makes it second and ten. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. to his tight end. Tackle made at the 38. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 23-10, Southern Miss. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Miller will be the return man. And he just got drilled. So we're just about ready to return to action. Slings it. And they make the stop right around the 36-yard line. out of bounds right around the 38 yard line let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more dumps it complete over the middle he's taken down at the 44 and it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down hit out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Middle got his back brought down at the 42 yard line. And he's tackled right away. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 38. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. It's the ninth play of the drive. That'll bring up third and six. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. Red two. And he just gets rid of it. 
Fourth down, and it looks like they're going to go for it again. Worked for him last time. Completes the pass, but a great stop by the defense. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 49. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of five yards. That brings him second and five. They come out on an empty backfield. He makes it to the 42-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line, first down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Gets to about the 17-yard line. That makes it second and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it third and five. Double tight, guys. Double tight. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 23-10, Golden Eagle. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.